Could the secret to looking younger actually rest in your eyeglasses? Forget plastic surgery, finding glasses to fit your face could dramatically take years off of your appearance. Yes, gone to the days of four eyes. Today, hot new styles are not only improving your vision, but also helping you improve your look. Dr. Kimberly Friedman of the New Jersey. Good to have Hi. you. Good nice uh, New Jersey here. Society of Optometric Physicians joins us in the studio. You're going to help clear up all of this for us. Right. Well, you know, over three quarters of Americans wear glasses. So yes. Of course, 72. people are right. Seventy-two percent, or a little more yeah. even. So you know, it's nice to play a little bit with the fashionable part of eye care. Okay, um, there is so much more available to us than there were in um, years past. Why are our glasses so popular now? Well, I think now that they have new styles, there's people are even changing colors. their glasses, different colors. People don't always just have one pair of glasses anymore. They can mm -hmm. have different styles for the different outfits. Just like we change our shoes and our styles with the seasons, we can change our glasses too. What's the first step when we're shopping for glasses? Well, I think a lot of the places where you can purchase glasses have very knowledgeable people on staff that can help you know what's right in proportion for your face, what's right for your actual prescription, and what will work best for you visually as well as cosmetically. And that also is key. You talked about prescriptions because we do have to go and get the eye, che eye check so that we sure. know exactly what we you need. You want to have an updated prescription from right. a comprehensive eye exam before you walk in to get those glasses, and certain prescriptions need certain kinds of frames, so you need to have that first. All right, let's talk about, I know you have a different, lots of different colors. I see purple and fuchsia and browns and tan in here, but let's talk men first, okay? Right, right. And let us know what men should look for when they're looking for glasses. Well, we brought along a few models for us yes. today, so we're going to have some befores and afters. So Jim's going to come in hey, first Jim. to talk about our men's glasses. And Jim is representing one of the most common problems that we see in glasses, and that is people tend to purchase frames that might be a little too large for their face. They're not in proportion with their face shape. And what happens is we don't want to have frames that are wider than our face, fa frames that rest on our cheeks or are above our eyebrow line. Mm -hmm. But if we take a look at Jim's after glasses, what we'll see is that these are much more in proportion with his face. Yeah. And especially with men, men usually like the neutral color so it blends in. And with something smaller like this, we're actually seeing Jim and not the glasses. And actually, the bigger ones on him, I think, look dated. They look dated. And not only that, there is this wives' tale out there that big lenses make you see better. And that's actually not true. The larger lenses often have more distortion in them. So visually, you don't want those real large lenses. All right, Jim, thanks. Let's bring up the ladies next and let's talk about women. What's should women look for? This is Mary. And Mary's demonstrating Mary. the issue that we have on face shapes. Now, Mary has a rounder face shape. And so what you want to do is you don't want to match your face shape to your glasses shape. You want almost opposites. Mm -hmm. So with a rounder face like what Mary has, we don't want this rounder frame. Rounder faces do much better with more angular frames, like on Mary's after frame. So let's okay, have her put Mary, that on. Over here. While she's doing that, the squarer face shapes will do better with a rounder frame. Oval face shapes kind of have the frame lottery. A lot of things look good on them. But you can see how the angles really complement her face shape so much better and much more attractive and younger. Okay. That does look much better. Love it, Mary. <laughs> now, you brought your daughter so we can talk about the kids, what the kids need to look for. And a lot of times, um, parents go for plastic frames for kids. Right. Well, with Leanne, what we have to keep in mind is that the bridge of the nose is not fully developed on a child yet. Okay. So you take an adult frame with an adult-shaped bridge, and what will happen is that the lens will tend to fall down a little bit. They'll right. constantly be pushing it up. Yes. If we take a look at Leanne's after frame. Come on, Leanne. Let's there see we the go. after. It has the silicone nose pads. And with this, you can see that we can get it so that it fits up on her bridge properly. And that wasn't a, um, a big of a switch. I mean, she kind of had the same angular shape right, on the a, old ones. It's a these similar smaller, shape. Though. It's just that these fit her bridge better so they're not going to be slipping down. And that doesn't mean she can't wear plastic frames. Right. Children can, but they have to match the bridge very closely because that's not as adjustable for a child's And bridge. I know the manufacturers are making a lot more metal frames for the kids now. Um, talk to us about what shopping tips. When we go out looking, what are the tips that we need to keep in mind? Well, we want to get a frame that's nice and durable. There are some frames that are made out of special metals like titanium or flexible metals. Mm -hmm. Maybe look for spring hinges or hinges that will be a little bit more durable, especially for children or for people that take their glasses off and on. And it's helpful to bring a friend with you. You know, get their advice and choose glasses that also fit your lifestyle. If you're real active, you want a durable frame. If you're just wearing them for reading, maybe you can get a little funky and wear purple and pinks. Yeah, I mean, I, I see a lot of people now with more than one frame and, and they kind of um, match them to their outfits. Right, right. It's fun. <laughs> Dr. Freeman, we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you Jim, Mary, and your daughter for being here. And, uh, you know, you don't need to throw away your old glasses, too, because there are plenty of different uh, charities that will take them and give them to other people.